I have four children, so I want them to live in Sri Lanka. Uh, but first of all, you need to, as a parent, you need to put food on the table. You should be able to do that. So, you know, uh, but at the moment, I think a lot of people are struggling. Yeah, uh, we want to change. So what Ranil is doing now, the present incumbent president, is that he's collected all the corrupt politicians that who were rejected and also his own uh, part, UMP party people who were actually kicked out by the people in the last general election. He's got all of them into one, uh, you know, political entity and he's contesting. And with him, I mean, before he became the prime minister, he actually told that he'll bring in, uh, for example, Scotland Yard to investigate. Uh, the Easter terror attack. He went completely back on his word and he was very arrogant about what he actually said before uh, in, in the front of the world media. I don't really think we are going to have any change in this uh, status quo of our political you know, landscape. If we are going to make a change, we need to get rid of, we actually have to write off these corrupt politicians, starting with the Ranil Rajapaksa Junta. I mean, though Pohotua and uh, Ranil, they are separated, this is just a, uh, this is just play acting. So I uh, appeal to all the voters not to be taken up or get caught to that uh, trap. We have to make a change. One of the things personally I wanted uh, any political party I'm going to uh, side with is not to take in corrupt people, especially those who raise their hands to the 18th and the 20th Amendment that actually was detrimental to the country. So it's Valma who have actually rejected all these people. And that even, I'll tell you, even if we don't get the top job, we should stick to the principles because that's what matters. And uh, so let's see, we will uh, support uh, AKD uh, to you know to, to to take the reins and see whether he can make a uh, uh, make the difference that is that the country earns with Ranil you know I mean he doesn't he disregards judicial judgments uh, he does not uh, adhere to any of them so do we want a leader who thinks he's above the law I don't think so right and see what happened to the IGP right did uh, Ranil uh, cooperate with the judiciary? No, he didn't. Okay. After many long years living in uh, the UK, I actually moved my family back to Sri Lanka. And I want to live there. I don't want to ever leave that place again. We had no choice at that time in the 80s. We had, my family had to move, uh, move out and, you know, give us a better education. So we came to the UK. But, uh, you know, after traveling so much globally, I, with my wife and I decided we moved back and which we did in 2015. Uh, so I like to stay that way and we are going to fight all the way to keep the country in a governable state by uh, non-corrupt politicians and we must hold our politicians accountable. That's something that doesn't happen in Sri Lanka, but we must. But right now, because our judiciary being very straight, uh, we have got some fantastic decisions uh, that doesn't side with the politicians. So, you know, I hope that will continue and, uh, you know, country will prosper in the, in the coming years, especially after 21st, we make the right decision. I think everybody, we have a calling. Uh, it doesn't matter where in the world we live uh, as a secondary home. Sri Lanka, there is a beacon uh, of uh, we, uh, sentiment that comes out from there. And we, we, we have to answer that. And uh, I mean, I tell you, I've talked to a lot of people, especially who live abroad. The only political entity they will entertain in any of these countries, maybe may the USA, Canada, the Europe, UK, is only a uh, Mali Mao. They will never consider any of the politi political parties. That is why none of them have been able to have any sort of uh, gathering outside the UK. Because when you live outside, you see the you have a very high level view. You're not caught with the local issues where you have to vote others you won't get your uh, what do you call those uh, uh, the the dole the government is giving for their political uh, supporters you know so we we, we, we are in, uh, we, we are isolated from that so we can make a better informed decision and it's very i mean i talk to all my friends who live abroad uh, and that is the same thing they say and the only party they see political entity they see is malma and that you can talk to anybody outside, living outside the UK. So, you know, because when we come outside <laughs> Sri Lanka, we actually have to really work very hard. But when you work hard, you get everything you want. I mean, that is the economy these countries have provided for, provided for us immigrants.
Sri Lanka should be able to provide that for the, the people who live there. And so they don't have to wait outside the country. I mean, that's what's happening. I mean, you take money from IMF and you think your problems are over. No, you take the money from IMF, but we still have to pay it back. So they think taking a loan and paying all your bills is solution to the problem. It's not the solution. And that's what Ronnie Lee's uh, trying to sell. That won't work. So we have to pay it back and he pays, he, uh, he, he gets people to pay. I mean, I mean, whilst we fund there are V8, Mercedes Benzers, Saharas and all the luxuries and about maybe seven, eight uh, presidential homes. We have to fund all that uh, along with the IMF uh, payments you know, so, and uh, the, all the other pre uh, previous loans you've taken. So that, that uh, uh, cycle of thinking has to end. We have to be able to generate these funds within the country. And as I see is that we have to support the uh, minimum. There's no question about it. We have tried everybody else and we have failed. That we will uh, be, we'll be given the chance to make that difference the country else. I mean, we, people have to make a decision and I hope that they will make the right decision uh, when, on the 21st of September. And I would say good luck to uh, Sri Lanka and also to Malimai.